the entire thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> In addition to staying hydrated, again, just dress for warm weather, folks, because again, the hot, humid days are not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's go ahead and start things off right now from our satellite and radar composite. We've had activity pick up over the past few hours in terms of thunderstorm, mainly impacting our mountains and desert areas, and we are seeing severe cells moving through. That has resulted in a flash flood warning. Uh, this just took effect about 10 minutes ago, and it's in place until 8:30 for everything that you see highlighted in the red and the lime green. What that means is those isolated thunderstorms I just showed you could cause downpours leading to localized flooding. It could also produce small hail and gusty winds. Again, it's the same deal that we dealt with in the beginning of the week. That activity will once again pick up as we wrap up this work week. Let's go ahead and take you outside right now where you live. A little west of the mountains, we're seeing increasing high level clouds from downtown to the inland valleys. A live look at Ramona Airport. Current temperatures are in the 70s, 80s. Again, not too bad. It's those high humidity levels that are making it feel much more warmer. Anytime we're trending in the 60s as far as a dew point temperature goes, that means that it's going to feel muggy, uncomfortable, sticky outside. So that's certainly what we're going to deal with not only today, but for the next several days as we head into your weekend. Rain cloud future cast. Again, a lot of the thunderstorm activity will weaken into your overnight hours. And then as we fast forward this rain cloud future cast to tomorrow, activity picks up again and peaks around the 2 to 5 p.m. hour. So you can see we could again see heavy cells moving through our mountains and deserts. Some of that instability, some of those monsoonal clouds could shift a little westward, impacting our inland valleys and beaches, meaning that we could even see a pop up shower or two for the coastline in the inland valleys. Cloudy start for your coastline uh, looking ahead for the coastal communities looking ahead to tomorrow through Sunday, all thanks to the marine layer. Again, most of it should mix out by the daytime hours leading to fairly nice conditions in the mid to upper 70s. Meanwhile, the inland daytime highs, not a ton of fluctuation will trend in the 90s, dropping a few degrees by the middle of the week will be in the upper 80s. Mountain areas, as I mentioned, the peak activity picks up again in the afternoon tomorrow, and then it looks like we dry out on Sunday and that lasts until Wednesday before mo more monsoon moisture moves on in Thursday, giving us another chance for those pop up thunderstorms. Desert areas will trend near that 110 range looking ahead to tomorrow, and then we'll shave off a few degrees looking ahead to the early next week. And in fact, Thursday and Friday, we're talking about the low hundreds for the desert areas. Derek. All right, Vanessa, thanks.